Tokyo Disney have apparently released a video all about their 2020 um, Beauty and the Beast ride that's going to be called The Enchanted Tale of Beauty and the Beast. I'm Dan from ThemeParkNut.com and today we are going to watch that video and react to it. Okay, so I've been told that this video is all about the Beauty and the Beast ride that's coming in uh, 2020 to um, Tokyo Disneyland. Uh, I'm really excited about that Miniland because I think that's something that they missed a trick on um, with the uh, Fantasy Land expansion at, at um, Magic Kingdom. Um, they could have had extra Beauty and the Beast stuff and an extra ride in there for that. But having said that, I'm really excited to see what Tokyo Disney do because uh, the Oriental Land Company spend an absolute mozza on their attractions. Um, so it, they're definitely, definitely some of the best attractions in the world in Tokyo Disney. So I'm really excited to see what this one is about. Let's check it out. All right. I hope it's not all in Japanese. Let's go. Okay. Some spires of a castle. That's cool. It's good. I mean, yeah, graphics that we've sort of seen Today before. We're going to be talking but about an exciting new ride attraction that's coming to Tokyo Disneyland expansion. Enchanted Meeting Tale Beast. Of Beauty and the Beast. As many of us know, Beauty and the Beast is a classic, timeless film that many people around the world continue to love and watch, and especially yeah. here in Tokyo. Enchanted Tale of Beauty and the Beast is a unique ride attraction that really immerses guests. So they're the that cups that we've sort of seen. We're doing it in a brand new way that's never been done before. So we've that got a lot really of cool. work done so far on this project. A lot of what you see here is some of that construction, work, construction. Some of theme, yeah, I mean, plaster work, sculpting, and paint work that's going to be Some of that will be similar to be our guest, I guess. Story but some great details. For our guests. We're very excited to be creating the first ride through attraction of Beauty and the Beast anywhere yeah, that's true. right here at Tokyo Disneyland. This is the first Ooh. time we realized Bell so that's like an animatic. as an audio animatronics figure anywhere. So with our advanced oh, technology wow, now, we can those. actually bring these characters to life and bring them off the screen. Like that? And Ooh, okay, and there's another one in the background. So two different kinds of bells already. Figures, a lot of animated props. We have large scale, like our beast figures, all the way oh, down to small scale animated props. One of the that's coolest beautiful. things about working on this project is we got to work with the artists and the animators from Walt Disney Animation okay. Studios. That's interesting. So they got some 3D animatics the for the ride. The Beast film from 1991. We're working controlling with the, motion. the Walt Disney Animation Studios oh, wow. to get their model and get their animation. And then yeah, our team here unreal. engineers them, builds them, and then we program them using the animation from the animation studios. And every that's day animation, I isn't it? Coming out here, working on a new figure, working with different teams. The figures look amazing. The ride vehicle itself gives oh, guests the vehicles. feeling of dance, and as you know, oh, wow. the music They're gonna of be Beauty cool. and the Beast is such a huge part of that experience, two, two, and this vehicle allows them to do that by giving them ten? the sensation Seats? of Four actually and six. dancing to this music. To have them actually get that sensation of dancing or ice skating. Is that actually outdoor, or is that just a really big indoor scene? Go around. So the vehicle feels like it's alive. We're going to integrate the movement of our ride vehicle with our figures, with our amazing show sets, all inside that phenomenal Beast Castle. Everything will work together to seamlessly tell this amazing wow. story. Serious chandeliers and stuff. Show, experience it as if we were an enchanted object. One of the That's aspirational cool. experiences for our guests is actually to be going into that ballroom, that iconic ballroom that they know from oh, the film, okay, so and dancing through that ballroom with our characters that they know. So are the feet of these the animatronic audio animatronics going to move? As a kid, and it's just been such a blessing to oh, be able wow. to be here, bringing it to life with this team of They're really talented really good people. animatronics. I just can't wait for guests to see it. I can't wait for myself to experience it. <laughs> that horse is impressive. Wow. Okay. That looks seriously, seriously cool. Um, the quality of the animatronics is seriously impressive. Um, not to be surprising. We know that they're working on some new audio animatronic tech, um, that we're going to see in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. So I'd say those animatronics are the same sort of new model. Um, 
the animation for a couple of them had their feet moving. And there was one bit in there that I couldn't tell whether it was an animatronic or a really well rendered animation that looked like it was moving along the floor. Um, which would be pretty extraordinary. Um, so you're going to get a tour, you're going to get in a 10 seater, it looks like 10 seater um, cup and you're going to dance around the castle, you're going to go through the um, dining room which will have all sorts of things going on by the looks which will be really cool, you'll circle right next to the table you're going to go into the ballroom and circle around um, the prince and Belle as they're dancing yeah look it's, it looks absolutely fantastic so hey I can't wait to see how this um, attraction actually turns out in Tokyo Disney it's going to be there in 2020 just in time I think for the Tokyo Olympics don't quote me on that, um, but gee, it's going to be popular if it is um, open for that. Um, wow, Tokyo, Tokyo Disney just—they're probably the greatest theme park resort in the world. They're, they're massively high on my bucket list. Let's put it that way, um, because I haven't been there yet, and I desperately want to go there. And they just keep adding more stuff that makes me want to go there. So that looks like a fantastic attraction, and I'm very excited for it. Thanks for watching my reaction to the Tokyo Disney video outlining the new Beauty and the Beast ride. I'm super excited for this, and if you are too, leave a comment in the section down below and tell me what you were excited about from that video. Um, we do videos twice a week on this channel. On Friday nights, our regular theme park news in a minute. And on Sundays, we do something else about theme parks. So tune in if you're interested in theme parks. Uh, in the meantime, you can check us out on Twitter at ThemeParkNut. And our blog is ThemeParkNut.com. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, cheers.